very first time on film, we are about to witness one of the truly great phenomena of the animal kingdom. Behold, the gorgeousness Briamerousness, otherwise commonly known as the Eastern Briamer bird. Watch as she prunes her feathers in order to secure a wealthy mate. Gorgeous. And over this way, we find a truly marvelous specimen of the animal kingdom. Brutal, yet beastly and beautiful at the same time. Yes, it is the cockeyed nose haired pimpleback Frazilla of southern Adelaide. Otherwise known as the Homo fitzimus boganistus. Yes, it really is a jungle out there. Not because it's Friday Night Live, but because it's Jungle Night. Oh my god, he's seen me! I just sat on a thumbstack. Thumbtack. Oh, um, you stopped it. <laughs> oh, oh, that hurt. <laughs> like I was saying, it's jungle night. And Tarzan himself would be proud of what we have on offer tonight. Brie? Oh, we've got everything. Be big red baboons, bums, <laughs> bananas, big costumes, elephant snot, see-through pants, monkey bars, blindfolded hippos, and best of all, Fitzy, I'll leave this one to you. We've got the big thing! Oh! Yeah! We're going to have a massive show tonight. Let's take a look at the arena. Oh, check it out. <laughs> oh, look at that. The jungle theme looking oh, awesome man. down there. There's a monkey in a tree, a real life monkey. Oh, yeah. ginger ninja. There he is. Everybody's favourite ninja. And yeah, they're all getting prepared and pumped up for tonight's show. It's going to be a big one. This is massive. Can't wait to see the big fan back. He actually looks like an orangutan tonight down there, doesn't he? <laughs> Maybe he's related. Who oh, knows? he's done a heavy. <laughs> he's already hurt himself. That OK. Looks... That looks good. Let's take a look at the housemates. The house monkeys. Oh. Are they da pumped? Toward Travis. He looks like he's just woken up. Oh, they're still too, they're too full from the ice room. <laughs> oh, now there's Tarzan if I've ever seen one right there. <laughs> Scary looking creatures they are. And they're ready to rock tonight. But Susanna's on the show tonight, of course. Yay! Our latest to the D. It'd be great to have her along. Well, last week we ventured into the outback and it was Billy the Kid who didgeridid his way over the competition. <laughs> it's time to enter the arena. Welcome Whoa! to the outback. The angel of the big... <laughs> <laughs> Wichity Grub. What a champion! Come on, Laura! Only jumps through. We'd be glad to be more white than this. He's on. Man, he's got two in front, bro. Oh, that's good. Billy, you are the winner of the Friday Night Games. Who's our money on tonight? Who's going to win the games? Ooh. Who do you reckon? Who do you reckon? Who do you reckon? Rebecca. Rebecca? <laughs> I say that every week. Mate, Joel, can Joel please get past the first round? Come on, Joel young Joel and Thomas, no. they're both hopeless. Who oh. do you reckon, audience? Who's going to win tonight? Oh. Who's going to win? Joel. Joel. A few Joels out there. OK. Get your malaria shots, cos we're heading off to the jungle. This is Big Brother Housemates. It's time to enter the arena. Line and face Big Brother House. Housemates, welcome to the jungle. 
Within a week, but more than half of you face eviction as a result of strategy. Big Brother reminds you there is no better strategy than winning the Friday night games. Twelve of you will start. Only one of you will win. Joel, go to the red zone. Last week, you were eliminated in the very first round for the fourth time. Joel, statistically, you are the worst player. So you will captain tonight's first team. Thomas, go to the yellow zone. I couldn't see. Thomas, despite reaching the final two weeks ago, Statistically, you are the second worst player. You have also been knocked out in the first round four times. Awesome. Your captain tonight's second team. Joel, you'll pick the first player and your team will compete first. Wait for Big Brother's instruction before making each selection. Joel, choose your first player now. Travis. Let's go. Let's go, mate. We're all right. I think we're all right. Thomas, choose your first player now. Andrew. That's right. Joel, choose your next player. Emma. Ah! Yeah. 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 Good choice, man. Thomas, choose your next player. Rebecca. Yeah. Joel. Billy. Thomas. Zorn. Joel. Alicia. <laughs> Thomas. I'll take Jamie. <laughs> Let's hope there's questions. <laughs> Joel. <laughs> Daniela. Tough one. Come here. Thomas. She eats widgety grubs. I'll take Laura. <laughs> yeah. Housemates, prepare yourselves. The first game will blow you away. Oh, oh yes. All housemates to the holding area immediately. Yeah. Oh. Let's go, let's go. Yes, the first game will well and truly blow them away. That is the funniest thing I've ever heard after someone being selected. Did you hear Thomas went, Jamie? God, I hope there's questions. Oh, poor. <laughs> well, no, Is well it... done to Jamie. He wasn't in the final two tonight. Laura and Daniela was. And Andrew and Travis, who have won the most this year, they go first every week. They, they're hopeless, aren't they? I know. It's terrible. You know who else is pretty bad? Alicia. She's, well, there's no mention of her. She's never been right up there. She's never won either. Well, well we've got the teams locked in and we are ready to rock. It's jungle night. And after the break, the housemates will roar into action. And I ain't lying. Get it, Lion? Oh. Well, okay, this is Friday Night Live. I'm losing that much. It's killing me. I want to feel it! It's like playing a silly game. Joel's team, you are out. You scored an own goal. I want to get that winning feeling like that. You can do it. It's Friday night games. It's time to shine. Imagine if I ever win. Can never win. Can never win. So now I'm not funny you and I'm the it. worst Friday night game dudes. I'm nothing! First out, scoring own goals. Welcome back to Friday Night Live. Ryan, I understand that our favourite doctor has once again thoroughly been examining the housemates. Yes, that's right. 
Jeez, thank you very much, crowd. I went and saw the doctor last Wednesday, guys. Oh, how, yeah, how is that rash? Is that all right? Yeah. Yeah, it's under control. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, I was with the doc, and I tell you what, he reckons that he's nailed this week's winner. So hold on to your bratwurst, because it is time to see Dr Fitzenstein. Oh. It is time, it is time for Dr Fitzenstein. Dr Fitzenstein, you're on. Dr Fitzenstein, you're on. He's got really cold fingers. What a busy surgery I have had this week. So many coughs and splatters and snotty noses. And if I had 10 euros for every Spliegenglobin that I'd seen, I'd never have to doctor again. <laughs> Firstly, there was a nasty case of a bruised ego. Billy, Joel, you are the two worst performing players. Ooh, that has got to hurt. Then there was two very severely broken hearts. It's time to go, Susanna. Whoa! Oh, oh, that is terrible, yeah? And there, of course, has been the common cold. And there has been lots and lots and lots of them. And despite this, by far, the most painful procedure was for Jamie. I'm not crying! Such a brave boy. I'm not crying! It is this kind of courage that will win tonight's games. I'm not crying! Yeah, yeah, Jamie, we know. Come here, my boy. See ya, have a lollipop. It is time, it is time for Dr. Vincent's <laughs> Here it is. What? What's Dr. Fitzenstein on about there? Has, has, has he got it, Bree? Is he right? Oh. I think he's been living in the ice room too much, Dr. Yeah. Fitzenstein. Is he doing this brain that That's what I want to know. Oh, I've yeah, got no idea, but, but Jamie, Jamie will win tonight. Okay. Does right. anyone agree? No. No, no one agrees. Come get on board. <laughs> OK, the time has come. I've checked the jungle weather report and the forecast is for high winds. Pardon me. Oh. <laughs> this is Big Brother. Joel's team, prepare to face the jungle monsoon. You are baboons. Your job is to feed bananas to your babies. Each banana placed to a baby baboon's mouth will score points. The closer to the fan, the higher the points. Do not grab hold of the baboons. If you drop the banana or fail to place it into a mouth, You'll score zero for that run. A ninja will wave a green flag to start the game and a red flag to signal the end. The team that scores the most points in two and a half minutes will go through to the next round. Come on, guys. Prepare to run. Good luck, guys. Ninjas, fire up the fan. One hundred times. One hundred times. Here we go, we're pumped. Ah! Go the fin! Oh, oh you're that trying to was throw terrible. it! Trying to throw it the first one. No, it's too hard. Hey, <laughs> is hey, that Travis? So, oh, Travis! So everybody knows Thomas's team is in the holding area because they didn't pick balls tonight. Oh. And it's so there is absolutely no advantage and they don't see this game first. No advantage for Thomas's team. Yeah. Got that. Oh no! <laughs> Who's no that Joel? No one's got the first score yet. Drop this banana. Oh. Throwing it's just They're not going to work. They're throwing it. They really, they don't have much, much tactic going on here, do they? Yeah, this is a massive industrial movie set fan that they use on movie sets all over the world to create a real storm and it's oh, very hard to run in? against. No. Yeah, and we didn't have to look very far for this fan because it's the one that Mike uses to do his hair. Oh, oh thank you. What hair? <laughs> well done, Joel's got it sussed. I thought, oh, that, was, I thought Daniel, that was... Danielle's going for a ride! Isn't that your blow dryer, Bree? She's on the old slip and slide in the backyard. Oh, well done. Who was that? Nice work. That was a good effort. Oh, there's another one. He's oh, missed it. Oh, no. Just no. missed it. As soon as you get in front of that fan, oh. you have no chance. So you've got to hurry up really quickly. Imagine if you put your face up against that fan and spoke. Like, oh. it'd, it'd sound like the best and robot. There's our current champ, Joel. No. Oh. Nah. Nah. <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> Is that Daniela? 
Daniel is trying to have a three-point shot from way out. <laughs> it's very hard to get to that first basket, the first baboon mouth. And this second one, Emma, will she get it in? Yes! Oh, good effort. <laughs> Who was that? Is that little Joel again? One, two, three, four bananas oh. for the first one. Who's that? They're terrible. <laughs> That's at least she's just going for a ride. It's like a, a really cool slip and slide. Oh, nice. Whoever that is, brilliant. I, I think they're starting to work it out now with just 20 seconds left on the clock. Zemma, see if you can get it for no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> The last baboon's mouth. Oh, well done, oh, Joel. Joel's done it. Finally. Joel, I think Joel's been the shining light. Oh. He's been pumping himself up all week. Maybe he's going to be just a changed man. There's the hooter. How many bananas is that? How many have we counted? It's given the red flag by the ninja. They couldn't hear the hooter. It was, the fan was too loud. Sounds like they're pretty happy with themselves down there as the ninjas count up the bananas. Let's see how they went. Gee, it looks like they got sore bums down there, doesn't it? I reckon that ninja's the one in charge. Look at him, cut the fan. Don't want to say. His big brother. Cheap banana counter ninja. Joel's turn. Well, you scored 54 points. Ooh, good effort. It's in your best interests to say nothing about the game to the other team. Go to the holding area immediately. What do you reckon? Was that a good effort? Yeah, did you like that? Very well. Will it be enough? Do you reckon it'll be enough? Oh, I don't know. They weren't exactly outstanding at these games. See, the good one about that one, though, is that uh, the other team was in the holding area, yes. so they didn't get to see how they did it, so they're coming in blinded, which is good. Oh, believe it or not, the housemates aren't just playing the games for fun. No siree. The winner will be lavished with prizes of plenty, Ryan. That's right, Michael. Some people strive their whole life for one chance at an Oscar, an Olympic medal, a Nobel Peace Prize, even a Logie. Mm. But what most people really, really want is the rewards room. Let's go down. <sighs> look at that bath. Oh, oh, look, there's a couple of leaves that you can leaves. fan on. Is that leopard skin comfy. quilts? Leopard skin. <gasps> that, leopard and they're not real leopard skin, guys. It's just fake. Um, and there's the beautiful bath there with oils that you can pour on yourself. Oils. Um, and tonight, look at that. We're giving them a wardrobe oh, oh full God. of clothes tonight, guys. And... Uh, Actually, I'm just getting an update in my ear. They Bananas. get to keep the clothes tonight as well. Really? So there's another there's another prize for them if they get into the reward room. That, can I just say... Oh, that? There was a ninja just came in what? there. Oh, have a look. Have a look. Can no, we go back? There? Can we see if the ninja's, ninja's still there? there? Where? Nah, oh, he's gone. You made nah, it so up. quick. Hey, he's can I just say that how big that is? People don't realise that like, being given a new wardrobe. When I was when I came out of the house, I literally burnt all my clothes because yeah. I never wanted to see them ever again. Yeah. Do you stink your clothes out? No. <laughs> and no, I, but that I, is a big deal. Yeah. No shopping for the last six weeks or whatever it's been. And I only took in a couple of pairs of undies. So That's at, it. At the end, <laughs> at the end of the end of the show, one of them actually ran out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even wash them. Okay, what else is with the rewards room? What else have they got, Bruce? Uh, the right to play mum and dish out all the household chores. Ooh. Now, nothing stops these chores having to be done. The housemates were booted out into the garden this week. Did that stop the chores having to be done? No. no. In fact, I think they were worse. They had to empty out the bucket of a toilet Ugh. that they were oh, using. Oh, yeah, the, the outdoor janitor. Dummy. And like the chef this week, which I think was Emma, yep. had to cook on like an outdoor like fire. Oh, that's horrible. How, how oh, funny, though, for, for Emma having to cook the horrible food and, and she was one of the, uh, the assistants last so week in the Bollywood task, I one know. of the extras. And see, because the ice mates were coming along and getting, like, um, their little cups of food and not eating much, I think she thought it was her cooking. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's these! I picked it up upside. Could someone oh, get that for me? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I dropped the, the 
letter in there. I wasn't oh, supposed to do that. Yes, on. we're not going to read this yet. It's a secret. The winner will open one of these three boxes and win the prize inside. And lastly, but not leastly, there's the ultimate power. Ooh, the not power. since He-Man was designated school prefect <laughs> has one person wielded so much power. I'm talking about, of course, the twist of fate. Twist. Rebecca, Zoran, Jamie, 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 Joel, Jamie, Zoran, Zoran, Jamie, Jamie, Travis, Rebecca, 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 Emma, Rebecca, Emma, Rebecca, 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 Emma. I know that Andrew nominated me for Sunday. I just know it. He couldn't even look at me. i will be honestly a big shock if if he went. Who did you choose to save? Zoran. Who did you nominate? Susanna. You didn't even have a nomination point. Oh, yes, you are never safe. Even people in the audience, you are never safe either. Yeah. Regular viewers will know that Laura has brought a unique brand of music to the house. Oh. Guys, what do you make of Laura and her, her beautiful vocal tones? It's just amazing. It's so meaningful. Yeah, her lyrics, she, she really is a genius. Musical genius. We leave you with this example. My bum is wet and I don't know why, but I think that I am going to cry because when you have a wet bum, you know you've sat in something that is not quite yum. <laughs> Yes, Jungle Night, we are absolutely going ape, as are the housemates dressed as baboons running against a giant fan. Brie Aimer has a newsflash. I have a newsflash from the holding area. Apparently Joel was saying to Thomas' and team, look, I'd wish you luck, but I really can't lose again. I know. <laughs> so he's like wishing them unluck or bad luck, unluck. It's going to look really bad for him if he loses. OK, Joel's team have already faced a big fan and they've got a score of 54 on the board. Can Thomas the Tank Engine and his merry band of men and women top that? Hey, mm. can they? Can they? No. Let's get down to the arena and find out. This is Big Brother. Thomas's team, prepare to face the jungle monsoon. You are baboons. Your job is to feed bananas to your babies. Each banana placed into a baby baboon's mouth. Score points. Do not grab hold of the baboons. If you drop your banana or fail to place it into her mouth, you'll score zero for that run. The ninjas will wave a green flag to start the game and a red flag to signal the end. The team that scores the most points in two and a half minutes will go through to the next round. Prepare to run. Ninjas, fire up the fan. Thomas will get it easy. Yeah, Thomas will get this easy. Just has to reach out. It's not after so long. Just has to reach out. Oh, he just has to reach out over his arm for so long. Thomas will get this in. Yes. He's oh. got a lot of weight too because he's the tallest. Oh. Oh, Zoran hasn't even walked out. He's already slipped. Oh, oh yes. It's done it easy. Out. Thomas can do it. Zoran can. And Andrew, no. Oh, the second one, yep. Oh, the, no. Oh, pick Ninja, fix the baboon now. Hey, you and Thomas Fitzy are like living giraffes. Oh, no. So oh, Jamie! Jamie, what are you Jamie's doing? Jamie's going for Come a ride! Jamie. Go for oh, a ride, Jamie! Jamie. Jamie. Go for a ride. <laughs> wow, he really is terrible. <laughs> there goes your banana, mate. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, that's not Who's working. Who's that? Jamie looked like an aeroplane that couldn't get off the ground. <laughs> 
A little more. Oh, oh, Thomas! Thomas has stopped that, didn't Thomas he? Thomas is a basketball as <laughs> well. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh! Good. Uh, no. Yes. Nice work, Andrew. We've got one then. Oh, good effort. Who was that? Was that Jamie? Good effort. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah, Look at was Jamie's that? going. That was Jamie. Nice work, Jamie. Jamie's going for a run. <laughs> oh, this is, remember the slip and slide in the backyard? This is brilliant. Imagine if you had a big band for your backyard slip, you'd blow you down it. Oh, they're doing very well. Very, very well. Go, Jamie! Jamie! Oh! oh. <laughs> they seem to be doing really well. I'd love to push my face up against that big fan, try and talk like a robot. It's time and dad. How did they go? I don't think they did better, did they? Yeah. Oh, I'm not sure. Good work, guys. Going for close. That's a quick shot. Guys, well done. That was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> Talking about. Now that's a game. That's a game. <laughs> this big brother, Joel's team, you scored 54 points. You got it. Thomas's team, you scored 62 points. Yes! 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 Thomas's team, you are through to the next yes! round. Stay where you are. Joel's team, you are out. And Joel, you remain the worst player. Go to the loser's bench. You got loser's bench? He's still recasting next. Thomas's team, listen carefully. The next game requires two teams of three. Split up now. Stand at opposite ends of the zone. Two guys, one girl. 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 Rebecca, you'll compete against Jamie, Thomas, and Laura. All housemates to the holding area. My feet are frozen. <laughs> oh, Joel, Travis, Emma, Billy, Alicia, Daniela, go on from the competition. Uh, Can I say, Andrew's very calculated. Because when he? they split in the groups, usually if there's a couple of blokes on one side and a couple of girls, he goes, I'll go with the boys. But this time he had the two girls. And he sent and, her and away. And he said, no, 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 no. Two boys, one girl each team, yeah. so you come he's, over here. He's Very a massive calculated. thinker, whether he admits it or not, he is. Yeah, but and he said he didn't want to win this week. We've got a replay here, by the way, Jamie being blown down the ramp. Sorry, oh. Bree, what do you want to say? Go, Jamie, go! Look at him go! go. <laughs> Get up, Jamie! Hey, this might actually be the first time that Professor Fitzenstein has had any chance of being right, because Jamie is still in the game. Yeah. Jamie will win this. And how's Big Brother rubbing it into Joel? You are still. <laughs> this oh, is no. an awesome game, Worst though. Player. I mean, how good is the big fan? It's oh. so I mean, really. I mean, Ryan. Can I know. I... I, out of everyone, Ryan loves the big fan. Can I just say, me. my favourite part of Friday Night Live is the big fan. It is the best point. You know, mile. I am so glad that you said that, Mr. Fitzgerald, because we have right here a big fan. That's a real big fan. fan. Celebrating jungle night here. You know, in a lot of jungle tribes, masks are used as a means of summoning spirits in dance, in rituals, and in ceremonies. Here, 
We're just using the poke, poke fun at ourselves and look stupid. Yay. You can print off your FNL host mask from the Big Brother website and you can send us a photo or you can Photoshop it. We don't, we don't care as long as you send it in. Have a look at what's littered our inbox this week. I see, that's ridiculous. Now, you've got to get this one because there's a mic and breeze the cheese there. Get oh. it? Breeze, cheese and mic. So yeah, funny, guys. Tasty. OK, oh. and what else is there? Oh. Cute little breeze. Which one's the monkey? The it's the best I've ever looked. Oh, this would be the naughtiest oh. school class ever. <laughs> They'd all be expelled. They're on detention every day. Yeah. Oh, I oh. Like that. Fitzy's Fitzy. Check out your Fitzy head of hair, Mueller. Fitzy. <laughs> Mueller. Oh. Oh. You bet it's Swan Lake, that's Swan Fake. That, uh, that was a good night, that oh. one. Right? <laughs> that's not funny, you guys. That wasn't funny at all, my noise. <laughs> Leonardo de Fitzy. <laughs> Look at my guts. Man, you've been get... working out in that picture. <laughs> Getting some rays as well. Oh, that's good. I'm normally the horse's ass. Mike, Mike, Mike the donkey. No. Oh, no. Hey, there I am. There's a horse's ass again. <laughs> oh. oh! Nice pants, Fitzy. That, yeah, that was my formal photo when we were in the high school. Camel toe. Is that a beard or am I eating a dog? <laughs> Hey, hey, That's right. <laughs> We've got a letter here as well. Uh, this one's from Kate. It says, hi, guys. Flicking through my pictures and looking at some of the ones when I was at the Australian Idol final, Ooh. and I found this photo of my, me with Fitzy wearing oh. a moustache. Oh, have a look at that mo. Look at your moustache. Is that real? Can I just say, I really rated my mo until I, until I met the mo, uh, the best mo that this nation has ever seen. Have a look at this one. Me and David Boone. Oh, have a look at that. You've got a long way to catch up to Booney. Yeah, Send us your masks, or snaps, or anything funny to FNL at bigbrother.com.au and we'll put it on the show. We will. Word on the street, apparently, that Big Brother has stuck the six remaining housemates in massive animal suits. Ooh. Let's see if the rumour is true. This is Big Brother. Housemates prepare to rumble in the jungle. Okay. Going the straight line. Going the straight line. Jamie, Thomas, Laura... Your lines, Zoran, Andrew, Rebecca, you are zebras. The first team to complete two circuits of the jungle across the finish line will go through to the next round. You must travel through the quicksand over the ramp. What you think? Can't see. Straight up. Through the jungle wall and weave in and out of the trees, housemates. Start racing on the buzzer. Ready, guys? <laughs> and you're away. It's lions versus zebras. This is in about 50,000 years from now where they've grown into human. Oh, just look at that pushing. <laughs> now, the key is to, is to hold your feet here. Once you lose your feet, oh. you're over. Yeah, these costumes were actually rejected from the Lion King musical. <laughs> the zebras have hit the lead. Andrew, Zoran and Rebecca. I've backed a couple of zebras at the race for, race for it more for girl, I tell you. Still trying to get my money back. They look like those bobblehead things that you put on your dashboard. You know those things? Oh. One more lap to go. Can they hold their feet? Oh, don't tell me Andrew's going to win it again tonight, is he? Two laps. That's the first lap. Hey, what do you get when you cross a lion and a zebra? A, a libra. <laughs> Agree. <laughs> Good work. They're nearly there. They just need to hold their feet. I think they've worked it out now. If you stack it, it takes ages to get back up. It's tiring carrying those massive suits. Oh, someone's fallen over again. It's the weirdest looking zebra I've ever seen in my life. Hang <laughs> on. You good? Hustle, hustle. Oh, it looks like Andrew. Andrew's done it. Andrew's on. Oh, they've had a stack back there. Jamie, Thomas and Laura. This is Big Brother and Zebras. Congratulations. You are through to the next round. <laughs> Lions, you are out. All housemates to the holding area. Good shot anyway. <laughs> Well, well done. Mine. Good effort. Nice work, yes. No lions were harmed in the making of those costumes. OK. Apparently, the, what, what happened? Sorry, I'm having a news flash. 
apparently the oh yes, apparently the lions aren't the king of the jungle. It wasn't a news flash. It was just a really crap line. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. After the break, the latest of Big D's, Susanna will be sitting right here next to me and Bree. It's jungle night, and we're having more fun than a dung beetle in a pile of poo poo. It's Friday Night Live. <laughs> I'm Mike Goldman, this is Bree, this is Fitzy, and this is the lovely Susanna! Reassuring yeah. pat Fitzy gave you on the back. There, there, yeah. there, there, there. You'll be right. Come in, sit down, have a seat. Welcome to Friday Night Live. Great to see you. Good Looking see you. unreal. How good does she look, everyone? As always. As always. Nice. How's it going? How's your week been? Absolutely surreal. I've had some girls cry on me. Why? In Maya and go, what? oh my god, it's you. And I'm like, oh. why did they cry? I don't know. Just because I was so shocked to be in your presence and couldn't believe it. Yeah, apparently so. Why would they do that? <laughs> no, Susanna actually stole their handbag. That's what they were crying. <laughs> I was doing a runner out of the store. So have, you've had a week to reflect on your time in the house. Now, I've got to ask you, if you didn't have a boyfriend and if Thomas and Zara were out of the house, who would you most have a baby with? So the last two people on earth and you had to breed. Who? Thomas, because he's a superhuman. Oh. Oh. <laughs> superhuman. Hey, I've got so many things I want to ask you. I've seriously got so many questions. Have you been watching much of the show this week? A little bit. I've been going out quite a lot, so I've been right. missing it. But okay. I've been seeing a lot Party of Blake. Because they have Blake seriously cool. been acting like you're dead. Thomas like, it's like you've died. And, and he wanted to sing Amazing Grace. What's with like, that? I, I, did you hear that? No. <laughs> who said this? What? Out what? Out what? Goes, I, just, I, I feel the urge to sing Amazing Grace. <laughs> Is this Thomas? <laughs> yeah. Can you tell us how much does Thomas... Look at himself in the mirror. Can you please are tell you us? Nearly as much as Susanna, Susanna used to. I was <laughs> just about to say the same thing. We are mirror kisses from way back. Oh, we really? enjoy it. He well, flexes his arms and I like we know. do my hair and stuff. Do you know the best thing about you though? You were he, you were his reassur reassurance. Like he'd always say to you, "Just does my arms look big?" And you were always <laughs> there to say, "Thomas, look at my plexoral pectoral muscle. Oh, <laughs> and and my veins are they sticking out? Did, did How do they look? You kept doing that. Why did you do that all the time? I don't think he would have looked in the mirror as much either." if you weren't doing it. Like, I was egging him on, though. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So, so funny. And something I have to ask you as well, are you aware of the fact that you were this close to being in the white room? Oh, don't say that to me. I wouldn't have lasted five minutes Because in the, the public actually voted you in and they voted you in out of the six that were going into the white room. So you were so close. And I must say, I think we would have seen you melt down on national television. Yeah. Yeah. I would have been out in two days. Easily, easily. So what do you think of Camp Big Brother? And I don't mean housemates support to the dark. <laughs> I mean, like, camping in the backyard. How would you have handled that? Absolutely horrible. Where would I have put my mascara this week? I don't understand. Oh, like... no. Well, you, apparently you think camping is a three Star Motel, so yeah. you wouldn't have gone that way well at all. And who do you want to see smash tonight in the games? Emma. Oh. Yeah. Hey. Well, what's, hey. your, what's your story with Emma? I, she just needs to go. Actually, I must say, with Emma, she's great to watch, horrible to live with, yeah. but she's fantastic to watch. I just want to see someone yeah. lose it. Well. I agree. Like, I'll be spewing, I think, if Emma goes yeah. this weekend, because it, she is just so entertaining to watch. <laughs> nasty pants, yeah. but entertaining. Hey, nasty, you, you, nasty. you had a couple of great stacks on Friday. <laughs> oh, yes. to watch, yeah. Susanna. But what about last no, last week? We showed the highlights before. Laura eating the witchly grub. You were nearly dry. <laughs> how, bad, how bad was that in I, the house? Was I it very funny? I made these do it as well. Oh. Oh, well, you see, all like from the very beginning, I've always said, I don't want to eat bugs, I don't mm. want to eat fish eyes, I don't want to eat any of that stuff. So every week when they've had like a tray out with oh. a cover over it, I've been sitting there going... <gasps> We've heard you say that in almost every interview you've oh. done. So, ladies and gentlemen, you please bring no. out the Witchy Grove! Yeah. Yeah. Joking. We're joking. What are you doing to me, Mike? I wouldn't do that to you. Well, if your favourite housemate's bottom <laughs> is already warming the loser's bench, do not despair. The big man has just had a word in my ear, and it's another stupid line, so I won't say it. <laughs> Apparently, some of the eliminated housemates are about to get a second chance. Ooh. This is Big Brother. Andrew, Zoran, Rebecca. You are the final three housemates. However, 
The semi-final requires four players. You'll each choose two eliminated housemates to take part in a challenge. The winner of the challenge will be back in the games. Housemates on the loser's bench, stand up. <laughs> if you are picked, stand on one of the six positions behind the monkey bars. <laughs> Andrew, choose one housemate to take <laughs> the challenge now. Joel. <laughs> Good one, good one. So, choose one housemate now. Alicia. Rebecca, who do you choose? Jamie. <laughs> Andrew, choose your second housemate now. Choose Daniela. Oh, cool. Zora, <laughs> choose your second housemate now. Big Travis. Rebecca, choose your second player now. There's three guys, should I choose a g Even it up. Oh, even it up? All right, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What are we doing here, you reckon? Oh, we have you. to hang until Stop someone drops. Joel, Alicia, Jamie, Daniela, Travis, Laura. <laughs> Take hold of the monkey bar in front of you when you hear the buzzer. Step off the podium immediately. The last remaining housemate to be hanging from the bar will be back in tonight's games. Hold the bar now. Alicia, hold on to it tightly. <laughs> and, and away we go with the monkey bar game of stamina. Come on, who do you want to win? Oh, he's in the zone. Yeah. He's in the zone. Yeah, he's focusing, he's focusing. Alicia, Alicia's having problems Is there. Alicia I have a theory. Oh, look tiny. at Jamie's oh. The man with the hair. Armpits will win tonight. Jeez, That's him, Jamie, right there. Jamie's got the Amazon forest under his uh, Amazon forest under his armpits here. The girls would be glad that they shaved under their armpits tonight. That's for sure. Oh, they're yeah, lucky the girls have shaved. Hey, you know what? If history is anything to go by, eliminated housemates that come into the game generally do really well. Yes. Because they want it more. They want it more. Who check will out, get check it? out Jamie. He's not crying. Who's going to yeah. go first? Gonna Alicia's go first. gone. Alicia. Oh. Hi, Alicia. Little midgies out Joel's there. Into Look it. at Jamie. He's not crying. Joel's going to win. Come back. Look at him. You know what? Jamie's got that face on at the moment. I'm not crying! <laughs> Look at him, I'm not! Hey, does anyone notice Joel's gone with the backhanded technique? He's yeah. the only one going backhanded there. And I think he's going yeah, to go. pull through. Look at him. He's yeah. only got skinny little tennis he arms. He looks like his elbows are going to pop out of the joints. Who's got the biggest hands to hold on? And he looks like he's meditating. Travis is struggling. Jamie's got a good grip. Joel's got oh, a good grip. Dan I tell you what, Danielle's done very well at the moment. She's doing hey, very well. And remember, oh, Travis. Remember the last time Jamie and Travis had a stamina competition? Jamie beat him. Yeah, that's true. Oh, look, Jamie's on Harry. four. Jam Jamie's meditating. I reckon Joel will end up holding on by one arm because one of his arms is slightly bigger than the other from, from all tennis. Of the tennis. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh, oh Joel! Joel! I guess Joel will be a captain next week as well. Oh! oh there goes Travis. Jamie. Jamie's into it. Beaten by Jamie's a girl. Jamie and Daniela. It's the monkey bar face off. Oh, this is bad. Who will get through? Daniela's Looks like Daniela's yeah, about Daniela's to crack. Gone, She's gone. Jamie is through. Somebody wake him up. Jamie, you can stop now. If you can get yeah. off, Jamie! Give if you can get off! This is Big Brother. Jamie, congratulations. You are back in the games. I can do it! Yes! Jamie, remember.
remain on the green zone. All other housemates remain on the loser's bench. Housemates, listen carefully. Final four housemates split into pairs now. Do you guys want to? Yeah. You sure? Oh, do you want to? I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy either way. Yeah. Who's where we are? <laughs> Look at this. Never comes down to it. Jared, <laughs> Rebecca, you'll face Andrew and Zoran for a place in tonight's final. All housemates to the holding area. Say so tonight's final. Yeah. Yeah. Well done to housemate Jamie. Nice work, my friend. Getting to. Hey, I, I tell you what, I have, I have figured it out, guys. You figured it out, Bree. Why? I have figured it out because Jamie is just really uncoordinated. <laughs> but when it comes to like stamina or, or strength exactly and things what it like is. that, it's just he obviously hasn't got any coordination because when he's playing like physical games, he's terrible. He right. doesn't play physical games. You know why he has so much strength in his hands? Nintendo. <laughs> Nintendo Wii. Nintendo Wii. Yeah. Wii. I'm glad you said that. And uh, <laughs> can I just bring up the point again of Andrew getting into groups? I know. He had a chance of going with Rebecca, the girl, and he's going, no, I'll go with Zoran, used to. Oh, yeah, but it, it doesn't look like works, a scary but... team, does it, Jamie and mm, Rebecca? No, but it obviously works, Andrew's techniques, because he's won more than anyone else. Yeah, mm. I know. I hope he doesn't win again tonight. Jamie, yep. we want Jamie to win, don't we? Yeah! yeah! It just depends on what the final game is. What's the final game going to be? Is it going to be a, a, you know, a question game? Yeah. Or is Nintendo it going to be game. a game of, of stamina? Can we bring out the big fan again? The big <laughs> fan. <laughs> Maybe we'll see. Well, whichever way it goes, it looks like everyone seems to be on Jamie's side because, you know, Zoran and Andrew had the rewards room uh, last week. Mm. So we probably don't want them you to know, have it again, do we? We're fair out here. And, and <laughs> Rebecca's still in. She's never been to the rewards room. No. So maybe it'd be nice to see her get through. No, you've got like to see Jamie have the power this week. The power. Oh. Yeah, the power. I'd like to see who he'd put up. Yeah, who, would, sure. who do you reckon he'd put up? Mm. Who doesn't he get along with? Zoran. So Ooh. doesn't like Zoran. Really? Doesn't like what Zoran. about Emma? He hates Emma. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe both. Because he's got know. scary eyes. Yeah. <laughs> do that again, Bree. Can you just do that close scary up to that camera? <laughs> Is that, it's pretty scary. Yeah. Scary eyes. <laughs> oh, man, that's really scary. Well, make sure oh, you stop it. You're we, freaking me out. Because, uh, look, you've got to stick around because we've got some snot involved oh, with the next yeah. challenge. Yeah. 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 say any more. Fitzy's been saving up over the last month. <laughs> so the final four housemates have been decided, and if you're a fan of games where the housemates stay really clean and don't look stupid, well, after the break, we've got some really bad news for you. <laughs> this is Friday Night Live. It's Jungle Night, and we're having more fun than a whacked-out witch doctor on Wawa sauce. <laughs> What's Wawa sauce? Wawa sauce. It makes you go, wow, wow, wow. I don't know, it just sounded good. Susanna, you're a bit of a princess in the house, we oh, everyone yes. agree? Self-proclaimed, may I add. Is that fair? That's totally fair. I think every girl should embrace their inner princess. It's not enough of it. So well, but, can it be, <laughs> Susanna, can I just say that you're not the only princess yeah, at this we have table, another princess young lady. Here. We have another one down at the end. <laughs> Brie Aimer is a princess I of the not. first order. You've got your own masseuse set at the back. Yeah. You get ah. massages before the show. Oh, what about in your dressing room? You've got glass slippers, a frog, and other princess stuff. A pumpkin. <laughs> a pumpkin. There's only room for one princess at this sleep, table. Oh, look, I can peace. see, I can oh, see really? something happening here. Oh, really? Maybe on Friday Night Live, we should have the great princess, princess off. off. Yeah. Plastic piece uh, of you will wear poo? it, young lady. Okay, who, wants, <laughs> who wants my horn and who wants, who wants my bell? Horn. Oh, oh. Oh. I win already! <laughs> okay, all right, you've got the bell. Okay, okay. All right, don't answer the question until I ask you for oh the God, answer. Oh my God, I'm scared. Okay? Oh, she's so going right. to win. Test your buzzers, please. <laughs> okay, the first question in The Great Princess Off. If you buy a, a pair of Milano Balniks, what are you buying? Balniks? Uh, wait, sorry, <laughs> Brie honked first. Manolo Blahniks and the shoes, thanks. Oh, okay, keep the score, Fitzy. Okay. That's one to Brie. It's, it's the first 
First to five, Princess Fitzy. First to five. Okay. To five. What is the name of Kylie Minogue's underwear brand? Oh. oh. Brie Amer. Love Kylie. Oh. Okay, that's two to Brie. Okay. Oh, you've got to get don't closer yell to your don't yell yeah. You've got to be ready. <laughs> In the right order, what numbers do you have to press on your mobile phone to text the word darling? <laughs> okay, Bree, if you get this wrong, it's minus one. Three, two, um, seven, uh, five, four, six, four. Oh, what? that's ridiculous! <laughs> I can't believe that. She's okay. Okay, she has a score. So? It's three nil. She's oh. three nil on the board. Well, come on, you're not the princess. And now who clicks their fingers at me, girlfriend? Here we go. Who is the model for Rimmel London? Oh, Susanna. Kate Moss. Kate Moss is right. Yeah. Did I pronounce yeah. that right? Yeah. You're going down. I'm oh, going oh, down. In the movie Pretty Woman, what does Vivian buy Edward on her <laughs> shopping? Oh, who was that? Bree. Is it Bree? Bree. A tie. A tie! It is a tie, Ooh. yes. <laughs> it's 4-1. Four, four, Bree, you need one more to win. OK. Complete these designers' name. Ralph... Oh. oh. <laughs> I yes, Susanna. Susanna. Loren. Loren, Ralph correct. Loren is right. OK. Christian... Oh. Oh. Do I have to press it each time, or is this yeah. one? No, you have to no, press no, it each no, time. It's a different question. I thought it was one question! I should Christian. give you two of them. Yeah. Christian. Dior or Lacroix? Oh, oh. let's oh. give it two for that! It's 4 all. It is time. Christian Dior. This is the decider. Dior. She's shaking. Look at her hand. I know. It's really not that serious. What, <laughs> what does the devil wear in the movie? <laughs> oh, Prada. Oh, Brianna. Oh, princess, crown the princess. Crown the princess. There you go. And what a beautiful princess she is. I found Thank you. Thank you. Very well. You did very well. <laughs> Brie Amar is our official princess in our princess life. OK, the time has come to... Oh, what a cute box poster boy you are. OK, Brie, what's in the first box? Ooh. What is it? Ooh, what an ooh. ooh. What's Congratulations, you've won a nine-day trip to Borneo. The prize includes return flights for two courtesy adventure specialists, Kamuka Worldwide. That is awesome. Ooh. 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 On Jungle Line. And, and Claire, uh, big brother housemate from last year, is going to Borneo. She's about to go to Borneo with the orangutans. The That's nice really work. cool. Okay, isn't it? and in box number two is. Congratulations, you've won a Nintendo Wii home video game console. Wii! Oh, 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 OK, Fitzy? They're two great prizes, aren't they, guys? Yes. Well, I've got another good one for you. A banana! Yes. Oh, that's great, that hey, is. Hey, I want that one. Oh, now, we didn't, think, we didn't think about it too much tonight with a no. banana, did we? Maybe you have a bite or something. Yeah, I reckon I'm going to put in <laughs> half a banana tonight. Half a banana. <laughs> OK. Here, come here. I'll have half. Yeah. Young lady, do you want the other half? <laughs> Come on, have a bite, have a bite, have a bite! Right. <laughs> they, don't want, they don't want your germs. All right, you're laughing. Yum. <laughs> OK, excellent. Susanna, let's, let's let Susanna pick who, what she wants in which box. Oh, yeah, OK, so where do you want the banana? I want the banana in number two, because everyone always goes for number two, thinking it's the winning one. Number yeah. two. Oh, oh what, so you don't want the winning OK, uh, the Nintendo Wii, where do you want that? Um, number one. Number one. All right, and number three gets the holiday. OK, excellent. Yeah, so bring out the ninja! Ninja, come on! Get the boxes! Ninja. I'm gonna be nice to the ninja this week. Hello, mate. Ninja. Sorry. Ninja. Sorry for being rude, ninja. 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 Don't eat the other half of the banana. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they get on love the ninjas. They are absolute mega stars. I reckon we need don't Ninjas, the movie, to come out soon. Kids, don't punt. If you get near the ninjas, they will fly kick you. So don't. <laughs> they're, lethal. they're not your friends. Be they're very, lethal. very careful. <laughs> they're creepy. Okay, it's really semi-final creepy. time, and the jungle drums are ready for a pounding. So let's beat the bongos in the Congo. This is Big Brother. The next round is the jungle boogie. Housemates, there is a sick elephant in the jungle. He has a very runny trunk. Your job is to clean up its slimy mess. Each team has a shoveler and a catcher. The shovelers must shovel the slime over the wall to the catchers. 
The catchers must then catch it in their pants and scoop it to their side of the scales. Jamie and Rebecca, you'll scoop into the red side of the scales. Andrew and Zoran, you'll scoop into the blue side of the scales. The team with the most slime in their side of the scales after two minutes will go through to the final. Housemates start on the buzzer. Come on, Jamie. Andrew and Zoran are red, and Rebecca and Jamie are blue. Now, this is this is really hard, isn't it, Bree? In rehearsals it today, is. it was very hard to get in, so... Now, this isn't very princess-like, is it, Susanna? I'm so worried that down Chapel Street next week. <laughs> Plastic is a new black Oh, look at Andrew. Andrew's getting some good snot in there. Oh, I just want to see them get it in their hair. <laughs> I don't know what Rebecca was trying to clean herself up. Hey, they're actually doing much One better minute, than in the first 30 seconds today. left. Come on, Jamie, you've got to get it in they're there properly, Sam. Amazing. Where are you going, yeah. Jamie? It looks like a slushy from the petrol For station, doesn't it? For some reason, I don't think Jamie's done a lot of shoveling in his life. No. Oh, they need to go and fill up the little buckets. What are you guys doing? And where are they going? You love it? <laughs> There's not a, not a lot of snot there, really, is there? Oh. They look very awkward to walk in. <laughs> look, Zoran's got I heaps in there. Zoran's got tons of snot. He's going to be able to fill it up. Yeah, he's into it. Look at that. That <laughs> elephant had a really bad cold. He's winning. Oh, look at that. Yeah, Come on, that. Rebecca, you've got to get back. You love it in the mouth. You see, Zoran's got the right idea. <laughs> Oh, look at that. 43 seconds left 43 on the clock. seconds left on the clock. He knows what he's doing. He's coughed up a few lurgies in the house. It's oh, quite disgusting. Really? Yeah, oh. that's so bad. Yeah. Igor used to do that one, right there. Oh. Do you reckon he hopped up enough to fill that bucket? 30 seconds remaining. He's probably added oh, some of his own. Hey, <laughs> Jamie, where is Jamie throwing it? Jamie nice. throwing it? He's not looking. It's just a little light shower. Yeah. He's going nowhere near her. I think Andrew just got some in Rebecca's bucket. Look, where are you going? She needs a full bucket, otherwise they're not going to win. There's only 12 seconds left. Well, it looks to me like the boys have got oh! it. Oh, she's had a stack She's on the ground. Gone. She's just rubbing it in now, Zara. There's no way she can catch up. That's it. There's the siren. It looks like Andrew and Zara in the final. I bet. Oh, that sucks, doesn't Not it? Andrew, again. Andrew can't win this week. Not again. I reckon Andrew will throw it. I think Zoran's in this week. <laughs> Zoran was in last week. Rewards <laughs> room. Yeah, but he didn't win. He didn't have this the ultimate power. Big brother, Ninja, move to the scales and pull the pin. What do you have to do? <laughs> Andrew and Zoran, you are through to tonight's final. Jamie, Rebecca, you are out. All housemates to the holding area. Oh, come on. That's the way the game goes, you know? If you don't do very well, you're out. Jamie and Rebecca are out. One last okay. bit of sympathy from the crowd. Oh. Sad, isn't it? Susanna, oh, they're really fired up. Yeah. Susanna, if, okay, who do you think each person will take to the rewards room if they win? Andrew and, and Zoran, which one? I think Zoran will feel. I don't know. He'll oh. take Emma because he's been sucking up to her all week, Actually, dobbing on all the other housemates. The massages and stuff before, which irked me a little bit. That was a bit. You're odd. jealous. Oh my god, you're oh. jealous. Oh. Ooh, that means you are gonna have babies. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Um, I don't think any either of them will take anyone who hasn't been in there before. So I don't think really? Rebecca or Jamie are going in. Not at all. That's not fair. That's mean. You've got to take. You, you have to take someone that hasn't been in there yet, don't you? Who, who are yeah, the ones? Yeah, but you know what. Rebecca? Rebecca and Jamie. Jamie, Laura, oh. Daniela, they're, but they're new into I the I tell house. you what, though, Andrew might take one of them because he's a bit of a game player. Mm. Is he oh. a game player? Is he? Who thinks Andrew's playing the oh. game? I'm sure. And or, who thinks he's just good at Friday Night Live and he's just plonked with the double edged sword burden of the twist? Now, about two people think that, so uh, and, and can, can, I, the game. can I just say as well that uh, Dr. Fitzenstein is wrong again? <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Fitzenstein, <laughs> oh, I'm it's sure you'll come back. Go to the losers bench. Oh, losers. Oh, oh. <laughs> Even Susanna's getting involved now. See you later, guys. <laughs> if I had to live it, mate, you can go there too. <laughs> I'm just right. Well, the lion may sleep tonight, but don't get to bed yet because after the break, it's Andrew versus Zoran in the final on Friday Night Live. <laughs> Where 
The atmosphere is so tense that we've sent it off for a massage. <laughs> now we've come to the most important moment of the night, the moment you've been patiently waiting for. Another desperate viewer problem is about to be fixed by the extraordinary skills of the ninja. Ah. Yeah, the ninja. I desperately need your help. No matter how hard I try, I can't find a boyfriend. I've tried internet dating, buying new clothes, and randomly waving at people on the street. <laughs> but nothing seems to work. Can you help me? As I'm at my wit's end. Brie, you lost your boyfriend. I know, spewing. Imagine I've been hanging ninja. out for those ninjas for ages. Yeah. Imagine having a ninja baby. Would it come out with oh. a balaclava on? Mm. Some, oh, of, it... some of your ex-boyfriends needed balaclavas on <laughs> oh, too, Brie, which is interesting. Hey, hey Susanna, how would you go with the ninjas? I heard you a bit freaked out by them. The ninjas are really scary, and when you go out into the games arena, it's so quiet out there, with all these creepy little guys running around in black outfits. Creepy Did little you... guys. Creepy little guys, and you Did can't you... look at them. That's you can't, mean. like, communicate with them or anything like that. Although, Danny Ella and I one night were sitting there looking at one going, we think he's cute. What do you think? Where, was it Ginger Ninja? Yeah. Did you notice Ginger Ninja? Is that the guy with the freaky wig? Yes, that's Ginger. It's not a wig, it's real hair. <laughs> it goes <laughs> outside his balaclava. That is the Ginger Ninja. Yeah. He is absolutely lethal. He is yeah. the most scary Ninja mm. Warrior of all Ninja Warriors. Yeah, they're all pretty scary, Mike. They're all pretty scary. Okay, the final matchup here. What's going to happen? Is it Zoran mm. or is it Andrew? Oh, look, I, I have a feeling... Oh, I was going to say Andrew might, might throw it because it give, gives people a reason to nominate him, but it won't matter if he keeps winning because he can just take himself off nominations. Why not keep winning? I don't know. Will that turn the public against him? If he keeps winning Friday Night Live, will people be annoyed that he's no. not giving other people a chance? Of course they won't. But you, will you be annoyed if he kept winning? Yeah. 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 And So, all right, well, so maybe it'll be Zoran. What do you think? Zoran. Zoran to win tonight. I think Zoran deserves it. No more, Andrew. We're sick of it. Because he's your boyfriend. Uh. What do you think? <laughs> do, you, uh, do you want to know who I think? I know you think. I want Jamie to win it! <laughs> Jamie can't win. Jamie can't can win. Just, can right. we just keep him up hanging for the next <laughs> ten minutes? He'll do it. I'll He'll do it. I've got least. another war that's fighting behind the scenes in the Big Brother house. Ooh. Emma versus Daniela. Who are you oh. going for there? Yeah, you know what? It, it, it kind of disturbs me, this argument. I've been an Emma fan from the beginning, like I said at the beginning of the show. Great entertainment. But it's almost like something switched in the last week or so, and it's almost like she's getting nastier by the day. However, Daniela is just as bad, in my opinion. <gasps> you think? What do you yeah, reckon? I think what they're are you in I, there, you know? Like the horns locking because they're both Susanna, as bad as think? each other. Shame on you, Daniela's great. She's so lovely and she is misunderstood. And this week, when Laura went and told both Emma and Andrew what had been said behind their backs, that was a bad call. That was Daniela opening up to Laura. And Dan did blow very it out true, of proportion, very true. You know, the whole thing to but Emma. But can I point out, both Daniela and Emma have done that to other people as well. Yeah. Mm. They, they, this it, is honestly one of the most bitchy um, houses I've ever seen. And it's so funny because so often this year, people have walked in to conversations while they're being spoken about by the group, haven't yeah, they? It's so and much bitching. so yeah. awkward. You know, and the funny thing could be is those two don't like each other. Double eviction, they could both come out Ooh. together this Sunday. Wouldn't then hanging funny? out together. Like, Every... Bodie and TJ, <laughs> yeah. Emma and Daniela. OK, it's Andrew versus Zoran in the biggest matchup since Tarzan met Jane. Who will be the champ? Who will be the chimp? Who will be the jungle king and who will be the jungle bungle? Let's get down to the arena, shall we? <laughs> this is Big Brother. Andrew, Zoran, the final game is Hungry Hippos. Although you don't know it, you are surrounded by items of food. When you hear the buzzer, find the food and feed it to your hippo. After two minutes, the housemate that is the most food will be the winner of the Friday night games. Hippos happy hunting. Start on the buzzer. Here we 
go. Let's see which hungry oh. hippo will eat the most food and win tonight's games. Zoran just felt that and just kept walking. Oh, oh, there you go. Got it. That's it. Put it into the hippo's mouth. Oh, oh, he's dropped it. Oh, he's dropped it. Zoran, you've got to pick it up, son. Oh, he's... Oh, oh no. <laughs> that hippo's got rabies. He's <laughs> dropping in the mouth. So many weeks now the final has come down to Andrew and Zoran, though, and Zoran wants it some more. He deserves it this week. Oh, oh, look. Look. Oh, yelling out, give him a hand. There's oh, more elephant snot. Just... Come on, Zoran, find some hot dogs. How's yeah. Andrew going over there? They're hungry, hungry hippos. Wouldn't it be funny if the old housemate hot dogs just showed up on <laughs> Hey, guys, how are you going? Let's play the brain teaser. <laughs> Grab yourself a hamburger and win a thousand bucks. We miss your hot dogs. Okay, so uh, who's going to win this? Who's winning so far? Mm. I think Zoran might be winning. Go Zoran. Andrew's got the right idea. Crawl around on all fours, Very scanning the ground. Very funny that you can find hamburgers and hot dogs in the middle of the Amazon forest. I've never really... Yeah, that's really the natural diet for a hippo, I'd love to see Harry Butler just find a hamburger in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Hippo is one of the most strongest animals in the jungle. I think Andrew's got the idea down on all... He's got to get down on his knees so you can feel around on Andrew's just more tactical. Who's winning? Who are we going for? Jamie. Andrew wins every week because he's a fireman and he's used to, like, braving the, um... 15 seconds. Yeah, and, and, of course, he's used to having a hippo on his head shoving hamburger <laughs> and hot dogs in his mouth. But he'd be used to, like, crawling Ten through, seconds. like, the fire. Come you on, know, Zoran. smoke in the air. He wouldn't be able to see. He knows how to get through. He knows how to get situation. down low and go, go, go. Exactly. Hey, Zoran, technically Zoran should be good at this game because doesn't he practically clean up after everyone's food anyway? <laughs> That's it. That's the hooter. Let's see who's got it. Oh... Okay. Ninjas are counting the hamburgers and hot dogs. Ooh, it looks like it's going to be very close. I think it might be Andrew, though. What do you guys think? I think it's Jamie. <laughs> Jamie to win, huh? <laughs> at least give it up. At give it up. This at least you've stopped saying Elise. At least. <laughs> Ninja, how many items of food does Andrew have? <laughs> He's forgotten. That's he Zoran. Needs to check again. That's Zoran Ninja. Is the whipped cream yellow? How many? Eleven. Eleven. Ninja, how many items of food does Zoran have? Nine. Nine. Yeah. 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 Andrew, you are the king of the jungle. And the winner of the Friday Night Games. This is insanity. Ninja, bring out the trophy. <laughs> Losing housemates, celebrate Daniel. your champion. <laughs> housemates, you're wearing your microphones. Do not throw the slime. <laughs> you <want> <laughs> It's time to return to the house. Do not throw the slime. Yeah, let's hear it for him. That's our winner tonight. Once again, the reigning champion of Friday Night Live is Andrew. He has all of the prizes, the rewards are in the boxes, handing out the chores. And the twist. How will he use it? What will he do? Who will he take to the rewards room? Look, I'd like to think that he'd take someone who's never been in there before. It has to be Jamie, Laura, Rebecca or Daniela. Daniela. Surely. Yeah, it's going to be interesting, well, Mark. Don't ask me. I do not know. I don't think he'll take in a girl. It's, it's just Hayley will be banging up against the no, TV screen. No, she'd be cool with it. You know, you've got to share it around. We'll see. Well, it's Jungle Night here, and there's plenty more to come after the break to find out who Andrew takes to the rewards room. And Susanna here is going to play a game we call You, you What? here on Friday Night Live. <laughs> Welcome back to 
Friday Night Live. It's Juggle Night. And there's been more action than a bombastic Botswana baboon with a boil on its bum. <laughs> Andrew was our champion, Bree. What's going on? I know. Three times out of seven, Andrew has won. Been in the rewards room four times. He's officially the best player in the history of Friday in Night Live. In the history? Live. Yeah, and I think it's because he's kind of an all-rounder. Like, he's, he's fit, he's strong, he uses his brain, and he's quite tactful, like, tactical. Is that a word? Yeah, both, yeah. both words. <laughs> um, like, he chose the weaker people for that monkey bars. Um, yes. And he yeah, always... like Daniela and Joel he picked. So, you know, he picks the weaker ones and then ends up being against, you know, the, the weaker ones in the finals. Like, it's very smart. Mm, very calculated. Well, mm. Andrew's our champion. We'll be off to the house soon. But before we do, Susanna, it's time to play... Yeah, what? Yeah, what? We've really okay. got to change that. Don't we, we need to change that. that yeah. that's, that's really change it to lame. My mouth. <laughs> that's okay, horrible. basically, I'm going to tell you something that someone said in the house. Mm -hmm. Give you three housemates to choose from. You have to try and figure out who said it. Are you ready? Uh -oh. The first three housemates. One of them said her laugh. Her laugh was like a hyena. Who said it was a Billy, uh, Emma, Alicia? <laughs> okay, now I'm not laughing. <laughs> Billy. Uh, okay, have a look. Who and was her it? Laugh. Oh. Her laugh was like a hyena. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that was wrong, Emma. I don't really know why you didn't get that that nasty comment would be from Emma. Well, that's a shock. Nasty, wasn't that nasty? <laughs> okay, she made it so easy. She was so positive. Was it Daniela, Jamie, or Zorin? Daniela. Okay, have a look. She made it so easy. Oh, she was so oh, positive. Oh, she's crying, oh, baby. Oh, oh, cry. Cry. Give her a cuddle. <laughs> give me a cuddle instead. Oh, <laughs> OK, the last question. She is so unashamedly a fashion junkie. Was it Thomas, Travis or Joel? Unashamedly a fashion junkie. Thomas, Travis, Joel. Joel. Joel, OK, have a look. Who was it? She's so unashamedly a fashion junkie. Tom oh, oh, no, Thomas <laughs> Green. Thomas you're was actually looking into a mirror then. Yeah. He was just talking to himself. <laughs> and he said that, like, with the bandana, the, like, movie star sunnies and his yellow jacket. It was so unashamedly a fashion junkie. I'm surprised he didn't flex while he was yeah. doing it. And he did after that and he took his shirt off and ran around the backyard. OK, one out of three, so you're pretty... Hopeless. Yeah, I'm going really well no, with all of my competitions tonight, aren't I? Do you think Thomas is going to take his shirt off in the ice room? <laughs> <laughs> he probably would, you never know. Well, it's raining the other night, it's freezing, like, minus six degrees out in the backyard and he's still got his shirt off. I know. Oh, yeah. I know. You've got somewhere to put your out. coat on. Hmm? The nipples. Sorry. Because <laughs> it's very cold. Yeah. <laughs> OK, let's get down to the house and see who Andrew is hanging his nipples on. Taking to the wardrobe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's yes. Interesting. This is Big Brother. <laughs> Andrew, to the diary room. <laughs> Again. Yeah. <laughs> Asking for instructions on what you're supposed How to do. How many do you now. want? Three. <sighs> Andrew, congratulations. Thanks, brother. How do you feel about another victory? <laughs> I feel stoked. It's yeah, it's an awesome feeling to win one, let alone three, but um, yeah, just I don't know why everything keeps sort of falling my way. Just I feel like the luckiest guy in the house at the moment. As winner, as you know, you'll spend the weekend in the rewards room. Let's now select another housemate to accompany you. Andrew, who do you invite to the rewards room and why? Uh, I'm going to take Jamie. Jamie is the only male left in the house who hasn't experienced the uh, rewards room. Weekends, so that's it. And great guy, and yeah, want to spend a couple of nights with him and have a good chat with him. So, take the swipe cards on the table next to you, return to the lounge, tell your housemates who you have chosen and why. Sure, thanks, your brother. That is all. I've got to take someone into the room with me, obviously. Um, person I'm choosing. Um, it's Jamie. Sure. No, OK. I'm I'm just sure. Kidding. I was just kidding. I was... You sure? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, <laughs> 
reason why, again, like, um, firstly, he hasn't been in there yet. It's the only Jeez. male in the house to experience a rewards room weekend. Um, probably it's one guy in this house is going to appreciate, appreciate it so much. Speaking to him before that semi-final we just had, he said, mate, I want it more than anyone in the house. So, cool. yeah, beautiful yeah. coming in. Yeah. Two ice mates. This is Big Brother. The rewards room is now open. Go, go. Andrew and Jamie oh, may oh, enter. Your oh, pleasure oh, spending oh, weekend with you. Oh. <laughs> oh, I forgot my little zebra. Oh, oh it's so warm in here. Come on, mate. you got to open it. you got to zap it. <laughs> this is awesome. I love this. Oh. Oh. oh, there's meat! Oh, there's meat! Look at that! Oh, there's meat! What is that? That's like ribs or something. And little cocktail French. Fruit. Dude. Oh. Dude. Oh. Look at that. Spuds and everything. This is wicked. There's clothes. <laughs> what the? I... Maybe that's part of it, we've got to try them all on. <laughs> Big brother, there's clothes in here. That's awesome. Oh, that's cool. Oh, uh, so much fun. I don't fun. know what to say, Andrew. No, actually, it's, it's not that, don't say anything, mate. Um, it's an absolute pleasure to be able to bring you in here. But, oh, jeez. Do you want a drink? Surely there's drinks. Oh, that's Jamie! fantastic, Jamie. In the world, Jamie, finally. And, you know, how funny was it? The look. The look yeah. on Jamie's face, I'll be Andrew and you be Jamie Fitzy. Oh, uh, OK, I'd, I'd like to take uh, Jamie to the rewards room. <laughs> hey, was, that was That was the word, that was nothing <laughs> like it. All right, you reckon you can do better? No, you yeah. reckon she can do better, yeah, OK. Right. I'd like to take Jamie to the rewards room. <laughs> Does I have a poster? Yeah. Oh, that is both so they were both hopeless. No, well, Andrew, I mean, he's been nominated. He's up, up with the seven this week for the double eviction. So maybe he's thinking, you know, he takes the soft little Jamie who's never won to the rewards yeah, room, winning on. a few to save votes. Hang on a minute. Andrew nominates Jamie all the time. And he says he's a good bloke. Game player. Oh, OK. You have to do Game really crappy player. things to each other in the house. So you have to nominate your friends. Yeah. And with each week you as your mates leave, it, it gets harder and harder and harder. So. You sound like you're in the diary room nominating. It's harder and harder <laughs> every week. And the clothes that are in there as well, they get to pick what clothes they want. I wonder what the clothes are. Oh, if they're from some Vinnie's or what? That would have been a week for me to get in there. No. Well, apparently you can win those clothes if you buy a KFC <laughs> Twister. <laughs> Seriously. So After the break, you. find out which box Andrew picks here on Friday Night Live. <laughs> Welcome back to Friday Night Live. The games are done and dusted, and this gorilla has emerged from the mist. It's Andrew. I wonder how his victory will shape up the house this week, how it'll shake it up as well. Every week, the result of Friday Night Live changes the Big Brother world. We show you how in a little something called the domino effect. Billy's coat got gruff, and he found the staff to win FNL and still look buff. He gave Zoran the reward of glory and fame, a trip to the room to discuss the names of housemates accused of playing the game. Monday night came along and they were all ready to nom, but BB bamboozled them by dropping a bomb. You must vote strategically. So the biggest threats were 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Billy threw in Rebecca and took Alicia to heaven. In more ways than one, hello. Now all the housemates are living it rough and doing it tough, except the kids in the ice room who are pulling a bluff, living it up in chilled refrigeration, awaiting double Sunday deportation as the votes get cast across this great nation as a result of Billy the Kid's Friday Night Live domination. It is the domino effect. It makes things happen in the house. And Andrew is the biggest and best winner in Friday Night Live history. He is absolutely incredible how well he's done at the game. Susanna, we've, you've never done too good at the other games, so we decided <laughs> we're going to pull another one on you. Yes, it's time for the Ladder of Legends! Legend! Ninja, bring out the Ladder of Legends! Let's for the Ninja, ladies. A new game. Ninja. Yes. Thank you. 
Thank you, Ninja. Look how good this ladder of legends is. It's so expensive and, and well done. It's silver plated. Okay. Fitzy, have you got your calculator watch? I've got my calculator watch, but uh, <laughs> look, we're going to go for 30 seconds here. 30 Mike. seconds, okay. But uh, during the break, there was a young lady in the audience who revealed that she's got this amazing talent. Can Sophie please come up? Put your hands together for Sophie. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sophie, come up here. Okay, well, I'll Sophie. You, Sophie. What's going on, Sophie? What's going on with Sophie? Yeah, Sophie, you're going to be my siren after 30 seconds. <laughs> Can you do it into the mic? Do your siren. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, Susanna. What we want is the top 12 housemates in order from the winner to the two that will leave this weekend, because two are leaving and two are going in. You have 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Okay. Go. Where do you? Where's she going to put this one? Laura. Thomas. Uh, Daniela, what do you think, audience? Where should you put them? Where's Joel going? Oh, you're like two friends and you've okay. got them down the bottom. Daniela's Ooh. going. Billy's up there. Emma. Oh, Emma, 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 Emma's Emma. going with Daniela. Jamie. Right. How's and the then Jamie. Going? Rebecca. <laughs> Rebecca. You've got <laughs> ten seconds four. to go. Four. Andrew's four. Andrew. Eight. Andrew's four. Eight. Seven. Travis. Six. Are you sure? Are you sure? Five. Are you sure? Four. Are you sure? Three. Five. Absolutely. Two. That was good. Well, now, so, 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 Travis. <laughs> Travis is going to be the winner. Does, does everyone agree with that? Is Travis going to be the winner of Big Brother? No. Yeah. Okay. Now, now this, this weekend, Emma and Danielle are leaving on Sunday. Who agrees with that? No. Could it be? No. Uh, he does. There's, there's a few people that do. And, uh, and so, six boys in the top seven. What do you think of that, girls? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are you a girl? Little yeah, boy? boo! <laughs> Well, I, you know, we, we haven't been seeing it's, a lot of girls in yeah, the top seven no, in previous it's years. I'm so. a girl, one big brother. One out of seven so far, one out of six, it's just not good enough. You, you want to see a girl win, don't you, Definitely. You want to see a girl win. We've only ever had one girl win big brother. Yeah, good old Reggie. I want yeah. to see a girl win, but I just think this year Travis and Billy are the ones to watch and Alicia yeah. will be the third one in. Bree, so, you thought you were going to win, didn't you? But you didn't. Uh -huh. No, I really didn't. Yeah, you did. Yeah. I didn't at all. She, she was, was in the bag. She was telling no. us in the house, I'm going to win this. He <laughs> is lying. Watch Bree, no. but she's going to win. Uh, you were a lot closer to me till you stuffed it up. <laughs> yeah, you did stuff it up, didn't you? Well, hey, at least you both got your own TV show. All right, let's go to the rewards room and see which box Andrew picks. Yeah, we can go out there and find out. You want them? Maybe. Sometimes there's people <clears throat> that this live down. This is Big Brother. <laughs> All housemates to the bedroom. To the bedroom. <laughs> Let's have a look. How many times have I done this? <laughs> Let's go to the rewards room. Let's go to the rewards room. What's in there? You tried. Please let's jump on my bed. Please let's jump on my bed. I've Let's go. 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 let us go Inside each box is a prize. You may choose one box and one box only. Andrew, open the large envelope and read the letter now. OK, as a winner of tonight's games, you have won the right to choose one of these three boxes. Each box contains a prize. In one box is a nine-day trip for two in Borneo, courtesy of Adventure Holiday awesome. Specialist Kamuka Worldwide. Uh, in the other... Is a Nintendo Wii home video uh, game yeah. console. <laughs> in the last box is a banana. You can choose only one box. When Big Brother asks you to choose, you must say the box number out loud. You must wait for Big Brother to tell you to open the box. Did there's always had the last box? Borneo? Borneo! <laughs> or, or a Nintendo Wii? Nintendo! <laughs> <laughs> I've got three Travers. Here you go. 
Thomas is saying definitely not two. Oh. Andrew. I want to see my... Which box do you choose? I only choose box number one, big brother. No. You've chosen box number one, is this correct? It is correct. Andrew, open box number one. Okay, now. Okay. Nintendo Wii! <laughs> <laughs> awesome! <laughs> That's cool. That's Whee! pretty cool. Nothing wrong with that, dude. Andrew, the prize is yours to keep. Thanks, big brother. You may now check the other boxes. I'll stand in front of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy with the Wii. Oh, I'm so yeah. happy with the Wii. Definitely, dude. Wee! Not worth nearly as much, but how? <laughs> That's a wicked prize. <laughs> we don't know. Nice work. Scoring the Wii. How's, how's Jamie's reaction? I know. Also, oh, there's, there's a holiday to Borneo. Jamie and Jamie's like, oh, yeah, fair enough. And there's also a Nintendo Wii, and Jamie's like, yeah! And you know what, Andrew has totally got Susanna to thank for that, because you put them in the boxes. Yeah, I know, Yay. he owes me one. You gave like... Andrew a wee, well done. <laughs> Congratulations. Well, there are seven housemates nominated this week on Sunday night. Not one, but two will bid a fond farewell. To evict Andrew, SMS Andrew to 199 evict. To save Andrew, SMS Andrew to 199 to save. Or call 1902 and follow the prompts. To evict Travis, SMS Travis to 199 evict. To save Travis, SMS Travis to 199 to save. Or call 1902 555 and follow the prompts. To evict Rebecca, SMS Rebecca to 199 evict. To save Rebecca, SMS Rebecca to 199 to save. Or call 1902 555 and follow the prompts. To evict Emma, SMS Emma to 199 evict. To save Emma, SMS Emma to 199 to save. Or call 1902 555 and follow the prompts. To evict Jamie, SMS Jamie to 199 evict. To save Jamie, SMS Jamie to 199 to save. Or call 1902 555 and follow the prompts. To evict Thomas, SMS Thomas to 199 evict. To save Thomas, SMS Thomas to 199 to save. Or call 1902 555 and follow the prompts. To evict Daniela, SMS Daniela to 199 evict. To save Daniela, SMS Daniela to 199 to save. Or call 1902 555 and follow the prompts. Legion Interactive votes cost 55 cents. Calls from mobiles higher. Lines close at 8pm Australian Eastern Standard Time this Sunday the 10th of June. Terms and conditions, bigbrother.3mobile.com.au. OK, who's going to get kicked out on Sunday, hey? Who? I have no idea what they're saying. Well, we've had an oh, awesome God. time tonight. I, OK, all right. I, I get it, all right. You can shut up. <laughs> Who's... I don't think we have a housemate called... <laughs> well, we've had an awesome night tonight. I'm just off to massage Susanna's feet for an hour before Up Late starts. Don't even think about missing the biggest eviction show of the year. This Sunday night, when we lose two, then gain another two. Yes, two intruders will gate crash the Big Brother party. The action starts from 6.30 Sunday. A big thank you to Susanna. Thank you. Thank you to Fixing. Thank you to Bree. And thank you to our fantastic audience. I've been Mike Goldman, and you've been gold, man. Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.